You might have seen this particular accessory in some of my videos and a couple of people have commented asking what it is. Well, it's called a light bar and if you're someone who spends a lot of time at your desk, it could be one of the best desk accessories you've ever bought. In particular, if you're a student or you read, write, draw or build things at your desk, buying a light bar is a no brainer. There are also a lot of health benefits to a properly lit desk space in general, especially if your room is dimly lit or gets dark at night, but more on that later. So how does this thing work and what makes it so special? Honestly, not much. At the end of the day, it's really simple. It's just a strip of LEDs that sits on the top of your monitor screen and projects light down onto your desk below. Now, light bars come in various different styles from different brands. You have budget options from companies like Besus, or if you're willing to spend a bit extra, BenQ makes some really good ones like the Screen Bar Plus I use in my office desk setup. I'll make sure to link all the light bars I've used and tested down below if you wanna go ahead and check them out. And I'll also have individual reviews on these devices on the channel, but at the end of the day, there's not a massive difference between them. Sure, you'll get better build quality and some additional features on the more expensive models, but the main purpose of a light bar is to light the surface of your desk. And all of these devices do that regardless of price. Okay, so let me give you a couple of examples as to why I personally use a light bar and have used it every day for the last 12 months. Firstly, it's just so much better than using a lamp. A lamp takes up quite a bit of real estate on your desk and a big issue with lamps is they will often result in reflections on your screen or cast some kind of shadow on your desk because the light source is only coming from one side. For example, if you take notes at your computer at night using a lamp, you'll get big shadows from your hand or pencil that can get annoying. A light bar solves this because it's directly in front and above your hand and desk. It eliminates annoying shadows and also means you don't have to turn on overhead ceiling lights, which might be too bright or cast shadows at an even worse angle. Secondly, a lot of people tend to sit in really dark rooms while using their computer, especially at night when there's not much ambient light. This can put a lot of strain on your eyes and cause headaches and blurry vision. Now, most light bars have non-flicker and anti-blue light technology and paired with the ergonomic position of the light bar, which is directly in front and above you, if you're sitting at your computer for hours at a time, your eyes will thank you. Personally, I pair my light bar with bias lighting behind my screen, and it's been a really enjoyable setup and has definitely improved my experience when using a computer for long periods of time. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of light bars, starting with just how they actually attach to the top of your monitor. Well, they essentially just sit on the top edge of your monitor. There's a round weighted bit that hangs off the back and a hook that keeps it in place at the front. And as you can expect, installation is extremely easy. Just place it on the top of your monitor and adjust until it's right in the center. Now, all of these light bars will have a standard USB-A plug for power. So if your particular monitor also has the same plug on the back, you can just plug this and power it directly from the back of your monitor. For example, all of the monitors you see in this video, like the Dell U2720Q or the U3219Q or the LG 27UN850, they all have USB ports in the back. And I'll make sure to link all of these monitors in the description so you can take a look at them. Another advantage to being able to plug this device directly into your monitor is that a lot of these models will automatically turn on or off when you're using your computer. This is especially great if you're someone like me who works from home a lot. Often I will just get up and walk away from my desk for an hour at a time. My laptop will go to sleep, which also means the screen will go to sleep and the light bar will follow suit. Okay, so let's have a quick chat about some of the settings on these devices and if they're customizable or not. So you can obviously customize the brightness, so you can turn the brightness up and down, but you can also customize the color temperature. For example, you might prefer a really bright white light during the day to keep you focused and a warmer color temperature at night before you sleep. 
Also, depending on the model of light bar, it can detect the ambient light in the room and automatically set the best color temperature and brightness levels for you. This is handy because as the day goes on, the ambient light levels may change as the sun goes down or afternoon shadows come in and it just saves you from having to adjust everything manually all the time. Now, most light bars will have the brightness on and off and color temperature controls on the light bar itself, but some like the Screen Bar Plus from BenQ have a separate control module that sits on your desk. Now, like I mentioned guys, there's a pretty wide price range that these particular light bars fall into. If you're a student or someone with a limited budget, I think one of the cheap Basus options for about 40 bucks is a pretty good deal. You get most of the features of the more expensive ones. The build quality is decent. And if you do anything reading or writing related on your desk, I think this is definitely, again, one of the best upgrades you can make to your desk setup. But if you have a little bit more disposable income and you want to get something that really does spoil you, and perhaps you don't like these touch sensitive buttons on the top, and you want that little control puck that sits on your desk, Something from BenQ, like the Screen Bar Plus, might be more worthwhile to you, but it just all boils down to how much you're willing to spend. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.